water crisis. I haven't been home in two years, so I decided to come back home to get the pulse of the city and talk to the people directly. And we here right now with my sister, my sister, my baby sister, Alasia Towns, and my beautiful, beautiful niece, my Asian. So we're here and we're gonna discuss how she's affected by the Flint water crisis. This what this how I like it. It's, it's, it's water, water bottles, water, water. I'm trying to figure out if anybody's seen the mayor. Anybody seen the mayor? Have you seen the mayor, Mayor Weaver? How's it going? Has anybody seen? Anybody seen the mayor? So Lele, <laughs> how has the Flint water crisis like affected you? And, and your daughter, my Asia, and my niece, how has it affected y'all personally? It affected us a lot because we can't bath in the water. We gotta go pick up numerous of water bottles. Um, I washed my face with the water before it broke me out. It's just, we can't drink it, nothing. And we go down, ride down the street by the Flint River, you smell nothing but dirty, nasty smells from the water. That's not cool at all. And I'm just tired of this. I just wanna be somewhere with a water pier. I don't have to have no worries. This the building you stay in, bro? I have to live there because I have nothing, buddy. I have no pool, no family left to nothing. This fish passed away. Oh my god. You only have to change some soon. You know what, brother? I may have some change. Like I just it's he needs to start Absolutely. No, no problem. It's just sad that you have to live in there. It's it's tough. It's tough here in the city of Flint. I, I really just got a lot of change. But I'm a, I'm gonna give you what I have. No problem. No drinking or no drinking or drugs. All right, all right. I hear some change. That's all I got, bro. That's all I got. All right, you be blessed, my man. That's that's all I got. I don't have any more dollars. That's all I have here. You know, I I but I wish you the best, man. I'm be praying for you, okay? If I come up with some more, I'll come back by, okay? All right, you take care. With the water, you said you can't you can't bathe in it, you can't drink it. Do you still have to pay your water bill? Actually, no, because I'm in an apartment. Mm -hmm. But other so it's than covered. That, yes, but other than that, people with houses still have to pay. Really? Yes. And are they are they suing people for not paying their water bills? Actually, no. I know they got they did something to where they put some credit towards people water bills. Oh, okay. But okay. that was just a one time thing. A one time. I thing. feel like they should let them not pay their water bill until the Flint water crisis is over and fixed. Oh, that's sad. That's, this is my city, man. That man lived there, man. It's like real out here. You know what I'm saying? I know I live in LA, it's different, but it's real out here in Flint. Like, all I had was some spare change. That wasn't even my change. That was probably my, my grandmother's change, but people out here living in abandoned buildings, man. They ain't got no food. They ain't got no water. They ain't got nothing here. But they still have, they still got pride. You know what I'm saying? There's still some pride in them. For him to be able to come up, I'm just driving down the street checking out the city. For him to stop me and ask me for some money. Where the president? You know what I'm saying? Where the governor at? Where they at? They talk, they talk, where all the politicians and all, where all the celebrities at that was here donating water. Everybody gone. Everybody gone. Every, every, everything is dried up. Nobody, nobody else is here. Excuse me. Is is anybody home? Are your pipes are your pipes fixed? Are your are your pipes working? Maybe they in the back. Is it? Let's check out the back. Be careful. Let's check out the back. Maybe somebody in the house. I thought I saw somebody in the window. Let's see. Oh, this is Flint. This, this is Flint, so I guess they pipes ain't working. I don't think they pipes working. So we're gonna continue to go try to track some people down to find out if they pipes working. Is anybody home? Anybody? Somebody, is your water working? Do you still pay your phone bill? Let's go, I think I see it all. I think I see it, come on, hurry, come on. Put, stop, stop the video. So this has been going on for years. Like, if you can be real with us, 
was was my niece my age or was your daughter drinking the water and have you had did you have to go get her tested out because of all the stuff that was in the water when the water was working and people were drinking it not knowing that it was affected was yes. she affected by it she didn't get affected by it thank god but she was drinking it i was too then that's when it came about that it was lead in the water then we instantly stopped when it got water bottles and all that well now was the mayor at the time dan walling and also the governor, Governor Rick Snyder, they were telling people to drink the water. Were you guys saying, okay, because you guys are the the officials, we gonna listen to y'all, and people kept drinking it because they were saying it was okay. Right, but I stopped drinking it. I don't trust that type of stuff. Like, nothing. Once I heard it was lead up in there, I quit completely messed with the water beer. I still don't drink it. I got a, um, a, a softener on my... Mm -hmm. Uh, water thing right now because I'm not dealing with it. And I don't drink that water. Now when you take a shower, do you use the shower here from the Flint water or do you actually have to use the water bottles? When I take a shower, I use that water, but I feel the difference. My skin feels so dry. I could put on lotion then like 10 minutes later my skin right back dry. But I'm just driving and, 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 and look at this. It's more, more de de depleted, depleted abandoned homes. I mean, some homes they've torn down to make the city look better, but, you know, when I come home now, it's very stressful. It's stressful because I don't like to see my city like this. This is not how I grew up. With your daughter, you having a little girl, how has life been for the both of you living through this? It's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Her going to school, the water not really working at the school. How has it been for her and what conversations have you had with her about everything that's going on here in Flint? Every time we ask some, around some water, she be like, Ma, is that Flint water? Or she just make sure it's not Flint water before she drink it. And at the schools, the water fountains, they covered them up so the kids couldn't drink water. But not to mention a month or a few weeks before that, they was drinking out the faucet. And I know the same thing was going on if they just covered it in a couple weeks. What would you like to say to the city officials, the mayor, she's doing her best, but to all the, the mayors, the, the city council, to the governor, to the president, President Donald Trump, what would you like to say to them? They're so focused on building walls, keeping uh, people of Hispanic descent, uh, Mex Mexicans out of, the, out of the country, keeping Muslims out of the country, but they still ain't used no money or talked about fixing the pipes in Flint. All the celebrities are gone. What would you like to say to the president, to the governor, and to the mayor from your personal perspective? I would like to say, I don't know how they're going to do it, but please get some type of money to come get our pipes fixed because I'm really tired of going through this. Um, if I could, I'd pick up and move out of town, but I can't. What's been going on, what's been going on here in the city? Like, what's been really going on here in the city? You know, all I see is liquor stores and churches and abandoned home after abandoned home after abandoned home. That's all I see. No, no kids really outside playing. I, you don't really see nobody outside playing. And if they are, I want to know where they at. Because I ain't seen nobody outside playing. In potholes. In potholes. In potholes. Any words you would like to say to the people around the world? in America, in Michigan, any 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 words you like to leave them with? Just please, if you can do anything to help my city, just please help them because we need a lot of help. Like, it's too much going on and I'm just ready to move. I love my city, but it's just too much. Um, everybody up here is just focused on Facebook. They not thinking about the real stuff that's going on. And I just feel like Facebook needs to be shut down because that's the devil. If it wasn't for Facebook, half this stuff can be prevented. That's how I feel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We here in the city of Flint. I just want to give y'all a snippet of what's going on here in my city and how it's affecting my family. This is my sister, this is my niece, and this is real. And people don't know this stuff actually happens. They just think, I'm all the way in LA, I don't know what's going on, I don't forgot about my city. I've never forgotten about my city, never. I'd like to send a special congratulations to Chia Morgan. She's just been elected, I think, on the city council. Congratulations to her, make sure y'all support her, support Chia and everything that she's trying to do. She's from Flint, we grew up together. Make sure y'all support her because she's gonna fight for this city. 
Continue to support the city of Flint. Continue to support us here on Hidden Town and follow us at www.httwtt.com. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those networks. And like she said, a lot of people post all that craziness on Facebook. It should be shut down. It shouldn't be posted. And this is stuff that's going on right here in my city. It's affecting my family. It's personal to me. This is my family being affected by this. So make sure y'all continue to donate, support. The pipes are not fixed. People still getting charged. Their water bills still being 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 ran up because they haven't been able to pay them. But the water's not working. It's the pipes. If you can see outside, people got water bottles stacked up on their patios here. When I pulled in, I saw a lot of water bottles stacked yeah, up. I'm about to go brief. My, my trunk is stacked up. Stacked up with water bottles. So make sure y'all continue to support. Alasia, thank you so much, my sister. I love you. Mom, thank you, Nisa. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Make sure you guys tune in every Monday in Hidden Town. It's your boy, Tony Towns, live here in Flint, Michigan. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Tune in every Monday for a new episode. Please click the link right here to subscribe and click the link right here to watch our previous videos. See you next Monday for more Hidden the Tab.